Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to you again, another GJ5 and I war breach glitch here on my channel, I'm Corey is crazy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get inside the police station after the patch 1.43. This week we had the Issy Classic stunt races come out and they are pretty insane. So what you want to do is make sure you mark on the map where the police station is and this room up here is actually where the actual glitch is going to take place for you to go underneath the map. Do note that you will need a Deluxo if you do not have one, hopefully your friend has one, if not you can always borrow mine when I'm actually in the games and experience this for yourself. Now simply go to exactly where I go to where this building is, where you can go underneath the map, follow those nice panels on the side of the building so this way you guys get under it real simple and easy. It is pretty easy once you get the hang of it, as you can see you go underneath the map and that's it. Now this next part is pretty easy. Figure out your own way to go to the police station. It doesn't matter which way you go, but just do know one thing. Like I said in my last video, water underneath the map goes straight down to the bottom. Of course, you gotta watch out for the subway stations, the tunnels, and another thing I didn't point out is the DLCs for this map. There are lots of interiors and other props that they put underneath the map. New DLCs and old DLCs. You'll find trees and all sorts underneath the map, which is very strange. Watch out for them because if your car hits them, sometimes it can make you glitch out and you'll just completely exit the glitch and you have to do the entire thing over again, which is a little bit of a downside. Now, in this video, I'm not going to show you the entire interior of the police station because I want you guys to experience it for yourself and I don't want to show you the entire thing so you get, it ruins it for you. Now, coming up to the police station, as you can see, you'll start to see some of the interior underneath the map. That is something good to actually see. What you want to do is fly underneath the map and of course go to the far back of the police station. Now you can see some stairs on the right hand side just where I am right now. That tells you that is near the prison area. What you want to do is fly up until your car glitches out like mine does. This tells that you that you have landed on a hard surface inside the room. Then what you want to do is simply exit your vehicle. You'll see there's no interior and simply go into first person. In first person you can see the entire interior loads up which is really good. The downside is you cannot go into third person. If you go into third person, basically it looks like this and will show you just a blank empty room, which is really sad really. But nonetheless, it is pretty awesome to go inside here, show your friends, you can take a friend with you as well and get them to bring deluxos as well and just enjoy it. You can even take snapmatics in first person of the interiors as well. As always, hit that like button, subscribe and turn post notifications on so you never miss a video or a live stream every Tuesday when I'm live streaming GTA 5 online. Of course, leave a like and comment, and I shall see you guys in my next video on Monday. Goodbye.